body fat. It seems like everybody I know is trying to lose it, has tried to lose it, or has lost it, and unfortunately found it again. Well, if you're one of the dudes out there attempting to slim down to get your fine ass even finer, well, this video is for you. Today, I'm going over 10 solid fat loss tips to help you lose weight, shred body fat, and stick to a freaking diet. All right, so if you're looking for somebody to blow smoke up your cute little butt, go talk to your mother. It's not me. There are so many guys I get so frustrated when I get the emails that are so delusional about weight loss and their program. They're like, Alpha, what's up? I can't seem to get six pack abs. And I'm going to the gym five times a day for three hours at a time. The truth about weight loss and fat loss is that only about 10% of it has to do with exercise and fitness. 90% has to do with what you eat and put in your mouth. And the bummer is that exercise is the fun part. That's what everybody likes doing, right? It's the diet that is the tough part. Because exercise, you do it for an hour, you're done, you're like, whoa, I feel good, my God, I'm pumped. But diet, this is something you've got to pay attention to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you don't, well, your results are going to suffer. See if this sounds familiar. You start a diet, you're strong, you're pumped, you're prepared, you're like, I can't wait to get on this, I'm gonna do it this time. And you start, and you start strong, right? First week, boom, you jump on the scale, Sweet, I lost five pounds. Oh, you're pumped, you're ready, you're psyched for the next week and you continue. But eventually, after about a week and a half, you jump on that scale and it either doesn't move or it actually goes up. This throws you into a total emotional tailspin. This is totally discouraging and there's nothing like seeing the actual scale move in order to perpetuate your diet and to keep you focused. And sometimes when you get on there and you see that it's not exactly progressing the way that you think it should or it's actually going backwards, this is enough to be like, whatever. Totally discouraging and gets you off track. Well, today I'd like to offer 10 tips to help keep you focused and keep you on that diet and weight loss track. Tip number one, prior planning prevents poor dieting. You need to have a plan. You can't wing a diet. You can't wake up on Tuesday, get to lunch and be like, you know, I think I'm gonna start a diet today. And so the, you're doomed. There's absolutely no chance of your success or you're succeeding in actually losing weight. You need to prepare, you need to have a plan. All right, this plan needs to be thought out and you need to have it structured, all right? And then you gotta stick to the structured plan. Bringing us to tip number two, preparation. You need to prepare your meals ahead of time, all right? A lot of times, what happens when you're hungry, you totally lose your willpower, you lose your mind. It's like, oh, I'm so hungry, Taco Bell. And you pull in, you're like, I'll just have a chicken quesadilla. It's got chicken, right? And before you know it, you've eaten a seven layer burrito, a chicken quesadilla, and nachos. And you're all bummed out and your diet is, is, is sabotaged because you didn't prepare your meals in advance. Preparing your meals, taking a day out of the week where you actually prepare a mass quantity of food. Say you're eating meat, all right? You're grilling a ton of meat, making your vegetables, making salads. Buy Tupperware containers or plastic baggies and portion out your meals so that you always have something ready and a meal planned and prepped ready to eat. Tip number three, get rid of the crappy food in your house. If it's not there, chances are you're not chances are you're not gonna eat it. If it's not in your home, in your closet, closet, you, you hide and stuff? In your refrigerator, in your pantry, you're not going to eat it. I know for me, if it's there, right, I'll just be like casually browsing or grazing as I do, and I'll just grab a handful of M&Ms, whatever. There's just a handful, and a handful turns into six, and before you know it, I've eaten a bag of M&Ms in the next two days, right? If it's not there, you won't cheat. Tip number four is limit the amount that you eat out. Now, I know a lot of people will argue that they can stay on a diet, and you can, all right? You need to know how to order, but they will argue that you can absolutely successfully diet by going out to eat. No problem. Here's the issue, is that you think you're healthy, but if you're not aware of the food preparation process, you don't realize how much extra salt and fat is actually going into cooking your plain chicken breast, your plain broccoli. There's butter, there's fat, there's preservatives, all right? Eating out is is tough. Like we said, when you're hungry, you make poor decisions. So prior to going to a restaurant, look at the menu online, decide what you're going to have. So when you go, you don't even open the menu, you know, so you're not tempted. Tip number five, be consistent with your water intake. Water. <laughs> I'm from Philadelphia. Water intake. All right. You need to drink minimum, I would say minimum, 
two to three liters a day, all right? This does not mean Diet Coke. This does not mean sweet tea. This does not mean caramel macchiatos. This means plain old H2O. You want to flavor it with a little lemon? Fine. Crystal Light? Everybody's like, what about Crystal Light? I don't care what you do. You just need to make sure you're drinking enough. Tip number six, don't live and die by the number on the scale. And this is something that I see and I saw when I owned a fitness center is that so many people, when they get on the scale, it, it can make or break their day. All right, you are going to have fluctuations. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. It's going to spike a little and go back down. The fact is it needs to move in a consistent downward direction. Weighing yourself every single day is a good way to bum yourself out. I would say stick to two to three times a week. Over the course of the month, you will see a reduction. Tip number seven, don't think of it as a diet. Think of it as a lifestyle change or modification. All right, when we think to ourselves that we are actually restricting something or we're not able to have, you want it more, right? Well, with a diet, you need to understand that this isn't a short-term thing. That's why so many people are successful and then they fail, they gain their weight back, because they're engaging in crash dieting or they'll diet hard and then they go off it and when they go off it they go back up the deal is you need to think of this more as a lifestyle change it's changing your habits you do it long enough they'll change tip number eight don't focus exclusively on the calories you're consuming focus on the quality of calories you're consuming healthy foods are less calorically dense than non-healthy foods all right focus on eating foods that are higher in quality as opposed to the quantity that you're actually consuming tip number nine is give yourself the freedom and flexibility to cheat every once in a while. Now, though, it's the once in a while that you need to focus on, all right? You don't want to string too many days in a row where you're actually having cheat meals or else you're kind of not even dieting, all right? But I would say indulge yourself once or twice a week. Now, indulge doesn't mean go nuts and go freaking crazy because that's what people do. They're like, I dieted all week and then I'm going nuts and they eat 10,000 calories, right? Be smart. And tip number 10, if you fall off the weight loss horse, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, get back on and ride. Look, here's the deal. We are going to fail. We are going to screw up. But the people that are successful are the ones that don't beat themselves up. And I know that it's hard because, you know, you might have told people, you know, you're all gung-ho when you first start and, and you're telling everybody, you're like, I'm going to do it this time. Everybody's like, oh, great job. And then you screw up and you're embarrassed. You're ashamed. Listen, screw everybody else. You're the only person that matters. The people that are successful in the weight loss game are the people that don't stay down. They get up, they try, they get back on the horse. And you might fall off that horse 27 freaking times, but it only takes one time to get those feet right in the stirrups. Get a good, a good position on the saddle. Grab those reins and ride that puppy into the sunset. You got this. There's no excuse you can do it. You just need to give yourself the permission to succeed. Now I'm going to give you a little fat loss bonus tip. Tell you about a supplement that's on the market that I've known about for years that I use when I'm actually trying to diet and curb my, my sugar cravings and just get my appetite under control. It's something called Garcinia Cambogia. Now there's a lot of buzz about about it in the news. Um, you're seeing a lot of Facebook ads like Zach Galifianakis and LeBron James going from like heavier to thinner and they're like, whoa, what is this person doing? It's some crazy secret. It's not some crazy fancy miracle drug or pill or potion. It's a naturally occurring substance that is found in the skin of a fruit found over in Asia. The active ingredient is something called HCA or hydroxy citric acid. I use it when I'm dieting because it actually helps regulate my blood blood sugar, controls my cravings, and just makes dieting easier. Um, I'm not as hungry when I take it. And that for me is huge, right? I am a big eater and I crave like, sir, I, I crave bread. I don't really have a sweet tooth, but I crave the carbohydrates and the salty stuff. And the Garcinia totally like it gets it under control and it makes me not hate dieting quite as much and it just makes it a little bit easier. It works. For me, it works and I love it. And it's a great product to try if you're somebody who struggles with losing fat and is looking for a little kick in the fat loss rear end. The issue is that there's a lot of there are a lot of different products on the market and the supplement industry isn't quite regulated by the FDA the way a lot of other products are and so you really need to be careful with what you buy. Um, I go through a company called Vita Goods to get mine. You can get like three of these bottles. It's like a month supply for $29.95 
5 or something like that. I've been using this stuff for a while and the quality is solid. I've tried some others and it's been crap. This best bang for your Garcinia buck. I included a link to Vita Goods down in the description or you can just type into Google VitaGoods.com. Go check it out. Do your research. See if it's something that you want to try. It's not expensive. It's natural. And for me, it works. It helps. And sometimes taking the edge off is all it takes. Losing body fat. If it was easy, everybody would do it and everybody would be lean and mean. Unfortunately, it's just not that easy. It takes preparation. It takes planning. It takes execution. Hopefully, these 10 tips give you a few tools that you can use in your weight loss arsenal. Now get your ass back in the saddle, because it is time to ride. Oh yeah.